right, I'm here with DJ Kennington at Delaware Speedway, and hey, you had a good night tonight. You were able to start on the front row in qualifying. You had fastest in practice. Talk to us a little about most of the race up until the end there. Uh, we had a good car at the start. I mean, uh, you know, the car was good all day, actually. And um, I just lost a little forward drive in the car later in the race there when Trayton got by us. And I kind of saw what he was doing and changed my line a little bit to, to get a little bit better drive off, and it really helped. And the last couple laps there, he kept driving in the mirror, and, and I could see him making mistakes. and. I was lucky enough to get inside him going into three there, and obviously there was a little bit of contact, and uh, we got through with the win. But like I say, we'll, we'll take it and run with it. But uh, for our sponsors and Castro and Spark Power and so on, it was a really good night with us. After the race, Trayton was a little upset. He, he came up to talk to you a little bit. What were some of the things that were said? Uh, it's just between us. I mean, he was he was upset, uh, you know, called me some bad names, and I don't blame him. I mean, it's a frustrating deal. We all want to win. and. And he's got many a wins coming, I'll tell you that. That's one talented little kid. Right. Was there anything brought up about his brother at all? No, no. I'll, I mentioned that uh, there's a differ uh, difference. I mean, I moved him. Uh, I didn't wreck him. Um, that's, that's the difference between me and his brother. Uh, right. His brother and I have had our differences, but mm -hmm. uh, that's nothing to do with him. He's uh, he's a hell of a little driver, and he's uh, the full package, that kid. Boy, we're about to get uh, smashed no, here. we're all right. We're um, so now now that you won the race, you guys are going to have a little bit of a celebration tonight. Uh, no, I'm uh, going to get my butt home, get to bed, and we'll get unloaded at 6.30 tomorrow okay, morning and start, to the grind. start getting cars ready to go for Sunday. So for Sunday, uh, what are some of the things you guys got to do? Uh, we'll have to do wheel bearings, uh, probably brake rotors, pads, uh, a couple setup changes, hopefully. Uh, I think we can make it a little bit better yet now and uh, Even more better. get some fresh Castrol Edge in there and some uh, Castrol Syntec in the gear and get ready for Sunday. For sure. That sounds good. All the best of luck to you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm here with Trayton Lapsovich, and he had a good run today here at Delaware, but... A uh, little bit of an issue at the end of the race. Hey, you had a good uh, qualifying position. You ran good during the race. You're able to stay up front during the restarts. Walk us through a little bit of most of the race before the end. Um, at the start of the race there, there was some speedy dry down on the inside lane, and that's how DJ got by me. Uh, after that, we had that long green flag run. I was kind of just riding, to be honest with you. We had that caution, and uh, I was able to take advantage of it, uh, push a little harder than I had been, got by DJ clean, and, you know, he just he drove through me at the end there, and uh, he said it was because of Caden. So, you know, I'm not Caden the last time I checked. I'm trading. You know, I raced <laughs> yeah. him clean, and, uh, you know, to do what he did, I, I guess he just forgot we got two more races on Sunday. So, and, you know, I'm here to stay. I'm, uh, right. you know, it's my first season, but uh, I think I got a lot more in me. So from your perspective, what happened on the, the last couple of laps there? Um, you know, he was close to me. He was probably three, four car lengths back, and uh, I just had no chance, really. Uh, he was he was stalking me there, waiting for me. Um, you know, going into turn three, he just got me. Uh, I, I couldn't keep it under me. He, he aimed right for my left rear, and, you know, that's not a clean bump and run going for the left rear like that. Uh, just no chance, you know. I was thinking that, you know, maybe if I, if I ran outside, uh, he wouldn't have been able to get me, but uh, I think he was getting me one way or another, and uh, you know, it definitely showed. You ended up parking the car up on the front stretch there. You didn't look too happy, and, and then eventually you ended up uh, having a couple words with him. But anything is said there? Yeah, you know, I, I thought we were going to have some words together and maybe uh, understand it a little bit more, but it just ended in more frustration for myself because of uh, what he said. And, you know, he, he said it was it was, it was was because Caden, you know, basically kicking his butt for all those years. And, hmm. you know, like I, I don't think what uh, what Caden's done should, should carry over what I've done, especially with how clean I've raced DJ all year year and that pass I made on the front stretch was about as clean as it gets I mean I, I didn't even touch him at all right. so uh, I guess we'll see what happens Sunday yeah you got a good car uh, you got a couple more races left and uh, all the best to left to you thanks thank you